and I'm just here with a small little Lush haul. I'll be showing you a great little find that I have for storing my Lush products and displaying them. I picked up a couple of the regular items. Unfortunately, this is not the holiday things. This is my first real purchase from Lush. The only thing that I've gotten from them before is the massage therapy bar. But these are the first bubble bars and bath bombs that I've bought. I've always seen handmade products. I've never really thought about what that really meant. A machine mixes the materials together, but they hand make those things. They seriously have a whole bunch of people that just all day. Lush keeps their employees very informed and they supplied me with this booklet. It just gives you all the information about bath bombs, um, bath melts, bubble bars. That's all I'm really interested in really. They also provide a lot of great information on the website which is where I read on everything and they also have a lot of great demo videos for how things are made and I'll link the ones for the things that I have down below if you're interested. If you buy anything like bubble bars, bath bombs, or bath melts, they're considered solid products so you can use them for up to 14 months. Lush does use preservatives in their solid products and they did mention that they use some parabens though they do recommend that you use them right after you purchase them. So these are the things that I bought. First I bought this. This is the comforter. Usually when you ask, they put little uh, descriptions on them. Wrapped up like a snuggly blanket, this black Quran and Cass's bar is a comfort in times of need and want. Crumble under running water and get snuggly. This one is actually one that I've been eyeing for a very long time. Lush smells before, they did not really attract me. So this is the only one that I really liked. I love berry scents and black Quran and Cassis is a berry and they also have Ugh, I don't know what the other scent is and I want to look it up so bad you can get two baths out of this they recommend in order to get that full Hollywood bubble bath that they advertise with bubble bars but you can definitely cut this into smaller pieces and then you prolong the life of this how they make this they add sodium bicarbonate and cream of tartar with a shampoo base and it makes like this paste. The sodium bicarbonate is supposed to soften the water. The cream of tartar makes the bubbles. And they take the pink and the white and then they put it on top of each other and they roll it like a Swiss roll and they cut it up. Bubble bars are considered to be bubble bar slices because when you see bubble bars, they're actually part of a longer piece of bubbly goodness. So this retails for $10.95. I'm very excited to use this. It's just so good. Like it makes me go to happy places when I smell this. Next I have the Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. And the description of this is the vanilla and cocoa butter in this moisturizing bar will make you feel and smell as sweet as candy. Crumble under running water and relax in a creamy bliss. So the creamy candy bubble bar is supposed to be the gentlest on sensitive skin. It has pieces of cocoa butter in it in order to moisturize. This definitely is very sweet. Another scent that I chase after. It also has an actual candy flower and the bar itself is normally pink, but the candy flower varies. They'll have different colors. I've seen blue, I've seen white, I've seen pink, and I have a mint one. This retails for $7.40. You crumble it, you pop one in to give you like that full like bubbles over the boobs type of bath deal. And those baths would just be great for just a stressful day just when you feel like you need to get all the stress away and all the knots out of your body last item I have is the twilight bath bomb recreate twilight in your bath water with clouds of lavender ylang ylang and ovaltine to soothe body and mind 
drop into a full bath and enjoy a luxurious lavender bath. I am actually not attracted to lavender scents, but with the combination of other things in here, it really makes sense to me. I will sit around and just smell everything and leave with two things. So I was very surprised when I found this. This has stars and moons on them and it's a lavender, well, I want to say lavender, but they describe this as pink and it actually has a blue center. So this has sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. So that together with water makes carbon dioxide and that what that's what makes it fizz. This doesn't bubble as much as a bubble bar would, but it just makes for like a fun bath time. It'll swirl around in your bath like it'll literally like roll over in the bath. And when the blue exposes, you'll get like a swirl of blue, just like a night sky. And then you mix it together and then you get purple. Of course, you know that lavender is a flower. Lavender is supposed to act like nature's melatonin. So that's why they call it uh, Twilight Bath Bomb because it's supposed to kind of lull you to sleep and help you sleep at night. Ylang Ylang is also a flower. It's a yellow one. There's also Tonka Absolute. Tonka Absolute is a seed of a fruit and they describe it as vanilla soft. I'm doing a lot of air quotes. <laughs> they describe it as vanilla saucier cousin. And this retails for $6.25 in US dollars. So this is the storage that I was talking about. So cute, right? I bought this from H&M. And basically, this is a bell glass. And unfortunately, this wasn't online. I bought this in the store because my store sells home goods. And it's really cute. It says carte postale. And it has some French stuff on it. A lot of the words are kind of illegible, so you can't really translate. It's just a letter. Not quite sure what this is called. Similar items were referred to as a cake stand. You can't really put too much cakes on something this small. Maybe a cupcake. You can also put candles on this if you decide to use it for that. I like the little ridging on the bottom. They also sell other ones similar to this with a bird cage that was in stores. And these were both $9.95 each and I got some percentage off for it. They normally do 40% off or something to that nature. So I really like this. I just put it all inside. Just stack it up nice and neat to where the bell glass will fit over. Pop the lid over the top and there you have it a nice little storage cute and effective you can pop this in your bathroom pop this in your room anywhere so you can have a nice scent thank you guys so much for watching until next time guys see you later bye wake up like this I'm flawless ladies tell them I look so good tonight god damn god, god damn. <laughs> oh my god